you already know what it is, man. What the fuck is up? Higher point of view here. It is your West Coast Packer backer here to discuss. Y'all know what we're here to discuss. Packers victory over the Bears, man. I don't think there's any better way to start the season off by just beating them and beating them in the fashion that we did it. Congratulations, young new Packers team that, you know, a whole lot of people doubt all that. Thanks for coming out now. We got 16 more of these to go. You know what I'm saying? But still, it's a uh, good sight to see, man. And it, again, it's the way it happened. It ain't what happened. It's the way it happened. So uh, I'm just going to give my observations on this game. But uh, we're going to enjoy a victory beer together, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't trying to promote nobody else. Promoting the Packers only unless y'all want to pay me. But, you know, it's that IPA life over here. It's that IPA life over here. So, uh, victory Monday to y'all. Shout out to all the, you know, all my people, man. Shout out to Packers fans everywhere in the whole goddamn world, man. I was just watching our old QB, man. He went down already, y'all. Can't wait to go back in there and see the rest of the game. That is unfortunate. Don't panic, y'all. He's still going to get us a little 60% of snaps or whatever so we can get our first round pick. Huh. It's going to be looking like a steal pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, observations, bro. I seen Matt and Rich talking, you know? I seen Matt and Rich talking a lot more than I've seen them, or I don't know, you know, maybe I wasn't paying as much as attention before. Motherfucker sweating and all that in this bitch. Hot, bro. It's humid in this motherfucker. But uh, I seen them talking, and that's what I wanted to see, man. Rich Passaccia, you if you are the new assistant head coach, you need to be there when critical decisions are being made, and I seen you on every third down. I seen you doing what the fuck you needed to do. So shout out to you for that coach But um, like I said This shit couldn't have started any better And the best way to start is the first drive Where we get a turnover On downs And not only did we get a turnover on downs You know Very, very critical time in the game They could have turned You know got converted Possibly scored or got a field goal We don't know but we know now Um, Turnover on downs not only that We got the ball back and then we fell into a third and 13. Third down? No problem. We might have to call him third in love after, after a few games because this, let's dig these numbers on third down, y'all, yesterday, which is incredible. Eight for 10, 141 yards and two touchdowns on third down? Hey, can't ask for anything better than that. That shows poise. That shows that he's ready for big moments. It was a hostile environment. Away crowd, rivalry, the other team was talking all that shit. David Bakhtiari backed up his shit and talked shit right back to him. So I'm going to take a swig for David. I ain't going to chug this whole thing for you. This ain't no Bud Light, boy. But yeah, we started off so good and we kept up the consistency. When was last year, like when was last year where we actually played a complete game, y'all? That shit didn't happen to like Miami, bro. We we had a complete game yesterday. Everything went our way, bro. We uh they got two false starts in a row. That shows that our defensive line was on their ass. Shout out to the D-line and damn it looks like now that Kenny Clark does have help. Good pressure by fucking everybody. Wyatt, Uncle P, motherfucking Ryan uh Hollins, Justin Hollins, whatever the fuck his name is. Lucas Van Ness, chase down sack. Shout out to the other rookies. Jaden Reed, two receptions, 48 yards. We need all those. Luke Musgrave, three receptions, 50 yards. And great head on that broken down play that Jordan Love just made something up and, and came up with a with a 20, 30-yard game, man. You know? So uh, we held Justin Fields to 59 rush yards, man. I believe the last game we played him, he ran for a 50-yarder himself. So to hold him down to that, 216 yards, a touchdown and an INT. It wasn't just an INT though, was it, y'all? It was a motherfucking pick six to my boy Quay. Quay Quay in the motherfucking house. Oh yeah, the same guy. I'm gonna keep dragging this. Same guy motherfucker said he shouldn't even be on the field last year. Uh, I'm sure, my friend, you think he should be on the field this year. God damn it. This is a new, hey, 
Everything on defense was airtight. They could not run the ball on us. They could not throw on us. Hey, Jair Alexander, as advertised, three tackles, but you couldn't. Wasn't nobody throwing his way. He was just breaking up, getting in, getting in the way of everything, you know? Rasul Douglas, with his aggressive self that I love and that we need, did his motherfucking thing. Shout out to Darnell Savage. Are you playing? Are you going to play football this year? Leading the team in tackles with 10 tackles? That's how we doing it, Darnell? Good fucking job. You lived up to your last name for week one. Hopefully you can continue that shit on. You know, again, we don't really talk about negatives on Victory Mondays or whatever. But uh, Keyshawn Nixon got burnt, you know, for a touchdown. But uh, Keyshawn Nixon gets burnt, you know. We might have to monitor that. Shit, I'm okay if he's just returning kicks, you know. I ain't trying to take him out the lineup now. He does have value. He made a couple plays even last year to close games out and all that. But it's also, you know, he be getting burnt, man. So we're going to have to fix that shit. Uh, yeah, man. Offensive line, fucking solid as a motherfucker, okay? As much as we like to talk shit about the center position, really wasn't no hiccups like that, all right? Really wasn't no, no, no egregious or horrible penalties, y'all. Uh, excuse me, you know, I, I am drinking. But yeah, man, I, I really don't know what to say. I, I really don't know what to say. Again, it, it is, let's be honest. This was the worst team last year, and it looked like they could be one of the worst teams this year. We are not satisfied, but we are also not apologetic about getting the victory. So, uh, and again, let's 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 talk about J Love again. Just poise, sustaining drives, checking, making plays, checking, going to the run. You know, a little bit of everything, man. J Love did his motherfucking thing. You know what I'm saying? And um. O-line did their thing, but we all know who the player of the game is. Motherfucking Aaron Jones, man. Hopefully that hammy is okay. The ghost of Hammy Watkins just, hey, he said, I ain't even going to be on a team. Ugh, here you go, Aaron Jones. Ugh, here you go, Christian Watson. Ugh, here you go, Romeo. The hammies is just, hey, shout out to motherfucking Romeo Dubs, man. Dubs with two tubs. How about that? You know what I'm saying? We need all that. We need all that. You play, you are questionable, practiced iffy about practice, but you came in and you showed the fuck up. But the leading receiver was Aaron Jones, the player of the game. So we rushed nine times for 41 yards and a touchdown. Two receptions for 86 yards and a touchdown. Bro, you can't get no better than that. 120 yards all purpose. I don't care how you split it up. Oh, it's starting to rain now. I don't care how you split it up. With, with, with carries, with rushes and catches out of the backfield. Some of those, just like with J-Love hit Aaron on one of them passes, it was kind of like an extended run, but they credit him with pass yards, you know? And uh, back to J-Love, six different wide receivers, man. You know? We got to love that. Spreading that fucking love, spreading that spreading that ball around, man. Quay pick six, kind of closed the game, shut the door on him, but uh, let's give Aaron Jones. Again, we hope that Hammy's fine, but this is why. And you know what? I've been saying it. he's been he's been knocking on the doors. The best Packer running back ever, y'all. I had on my green ahead of him. You know, I love me some Ryan Grant, Dorsey Levins, you know, Sam Congato. I'm just playing. But uh, hey, man, James Starks came in, did his thing on our Super Bowl round two. Can never forget that. But uh, I'm saying now Aaron Jones is probably the best Packer running back ever, man. If he continues this for this year, that's all I need to see, man. You know, and this may possibly be his last year i don't know and you know not being bad or thinking bad again he would need a lot more carries but i'm not sure if aj Dillon is a you know number one just all carry i mean i know he was in college but he might need a sidekick he might need somebody because i'm not sure how he'll do carrying the whole load by himself but this aaron jones man is just amazing i'm going to give him the game ball honorable mention for the game ball is quay for just shutting it down and Quay getting nasty. Shout out to Devontae Wyatt, bro. One and a half sacks, man. Get your ass up in there. This is what the fuck we've been waiting for. Explosive. You know? Kenny got some help. Again, shout out to Lucas Van Ness again. You know, got to get used to the physicality. But that chase down sack showed all of the abilities that we know you have. Just athletic freak, man. You you might not should have been able to catch him. But you did and you brought him down. So, uh, hey, man. 
I ain't even take a hit yet, y'all. But shit. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all motherfucking Monday. Go ahead and watch old QB1 do his thing. If he gets back in the game. So unfortunate. But, uh, you know. O-line is important, man. And that's one thing we got better than the Jets. You know. We about to see what else we got better than the Jets. But, uh. Hey, y'all. Enjoy this Victory Monday. On to Atlanta, man. Enjoy this Victory Monday. But tomorrow, we got to move on to the next week because this shit ain't over with, man. You know, we, have, we haven't seen a whole lot from J-Love. We just seen him book a whole game in, and it looks great. Now we got to see him book a whole two. You know, like, this, it's going to keep coming. We got 16 weeks of this, Jordan Love, but uh, I'm very happy for you, bro. And it kind of looked like you're growing dreads. Like, is you trying to do that, J-Love? Because you already know. If you grow dreads, you're already going to throw for an extra thousand on whatever you were going to throw previously. You know, you're going to run for an extra 200 yards. You know what I'm saying? You're going to throw for three, four more touchdowns if, you, if you're trying to get them dreads, man. I see you growing your shit. I don't know what you're doing, but go on and do that shit. You know, but uh, yeah, man. Only concern is Nixon getting burned, man. We we gotta figure that shit out, man. We we really gotta figure that shit out. Shout out to Jaden Reed too, for you know returning punts, you know. But shit, maybe we need to throw Valentine in there a little more and have Nixon just just uh you know as a special teams guy or 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 in, you know maybe emergency situation, certain nickel situations. Then he could go in there, but I'm not sure about him being in there a whole lot. And I love him, L.A. Kid and all that. You know, I'm not throwing him in the trash and nothing like that. But I'm just saying. When, you know, last couple times, man, we, he be getting burnt, man. You know, it, it happens. It's a part of the position. They got him playing so many different things too, you know, so I'm going to give him a pass on that, but shit, God damn it. And, you know, if you look at it, who is going to get burnt? Cause you know, it's rare when Jair does and, and Sewell, you know, he's really physical. So, you know, he don't get burnt that much either. So, I mean, you know, I guess he would be the one to get burnt, you know what I'm saying? Because we got ex excellent play on the outsides, you know what I'm saying? So somebody got to get open and the bears give them credit to have, they have a good receiving core. You know what I'm saying? They got the DJ Moore kid. That everybody was wishing we got, I'm glad we didn't. They got chase Claypool. That everybody was wishing we got, I'm glad we didn't. Okay. We good at receiver. Cause I'll be sure didn't even play when, Hey, wait till Christian Watson come back. You know, we still don't know what this offense looks like. So hopefully he gets his shit together and we'll see him in Atlanta. Put that motherfucker in some bubble wrap, y'all. But, hey, enjoy the motherfucking Monday, man. Victory motherfucking Monday, man. I holla at y'all. One more, one more thing I motherfucking forgot. I forgot. Special motherfucking teams, bro. Let's fucking go. The first punt by Wheeling, I'm like, holy shit. This is what we gonna have to deal with. But he tightened that shit up. And he got that shit together. You know? We were get we were putting good field position situations because of the return game. Kicker, Carlson, great fucking job. I was expecting you to miss one. You know? But you went out and did your motherfucking thing. That Chicago weather crazy. Shit, wind blowing north, south, east, west, all kind of ways. Like horrible ass field. And uh, it wasn't a hiccup, man. No hiccups. It wasn't no close ones. Even when Mason used to make it sometimes, that motherfucker would be like, oh, my God. Barely made it. All your shit was crisp, bro. Hey, young rook, do your motherfucking thing, man. Good motherfucking job out there. Shout out to the other motherfucker who got a sack, too. Forgot y'all name, but y'all new players and young bucks and shit, you got to earn my respect, man. I'm not just get go. Hey, I went out last year. Then yelled and screamed about every player, what they going to do, this, that, and the third. That shit didn't work out, you know? I don't regret it, but shit, now you're going to have to earn it first, bro. I can't just go off a of old film. Every motherfucking year is different. But uh, again, good motherfucking job to special teams, man, and go pack.